Welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're at Windy Ridge Orchards in North Haverhill, and we're going to help you find the perfect Christmas tree. And in order to do that, I need to bring in Rachel Messini from UNH Cooperative Extension. So Rachel, first of all, what are we looking at here? Right here, this is a balsam fir. This this orchard here has either balsam or fraser. Those are our most popular tree species for um, traditional Christmas trees. And this one here is, I'd say about seven, eight years old. What we are looking for is the first thing you have to do is find out well, what room in the house you're gonna put it in. Okay. Because a lot of times when you get into a cut your own, the trees are larger than what you have space for. So first- Because they look so good out here in exactly. the field. Exactly. <laughs> right. Got a high ceiling here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually measure the height of the tree. So you always want to take a tape measure with you when you go to an orchard like this or a tree farm. I think I need a ladder to measure this. <laughs> <You> probably do. <laughs> All right. So the rule of thumb is you're going to determine what room it's going to go in. So in this case, how tall is this one? We've got about nine feet here. This is about nine to 10 feet tall. So if you're putting it in a room that's got an eight foot height ceiling, it's easier to take height off than it is to add it. So you want to take into account the, the size of your ornament topper. Also the stand, it's about a half foot, usually a half foot stand, and you'll cut to size. Okay, I see you're holding something in your hand. What is the purpose of this? I bring an ornament when I go to cut my own just to make sure that the branches are nice and sturdy. And so what I'll do is I'll just hang an ornament on, make sure it stays where I want it, and then that to me determines that this tree's got a and lot And you're of the us. only person in the world I've ever Probably. <laughs> do that. Also what you want to look for in a tree is its health. Okay, so what you'll do is you'll take your forefinger in your hand and you'll pull the needles. And if you have a handful of needles, you know the tree is not as healthy as you want it to be. So you want to make sure that it is healthy all the way through. And it's not like shucking corn or whatever not where they hear exactly. somebody. <laughs> okay. Now, the other thing is that here in New Hampshire, I gather we have a lot of places where you can go and get your own tree, right? There are quite a few. And the New Hampshire Department of Agriculture on their website has a harvest your own listing. And in there, you can find other cut your own um, establishments throughout the state. All right. So you can go great, have a great uh, family experience and come home with the perfect tree. That's it for today's Grow It Green.